On June 12, 2025, a tragedy unfolded in the skies over Ahmedabad, India. Air India Flight 171, a Boeing 787 Dreamliner heading towards London Gatwick, crashed less than a minute after takeoff. It was a routine flight on a modern aircraft with no apparent warnings until everything went wrong. Flight AI-171 was scheduled to depart from Sardar Patal International Airport in Ahmedabad at 1.30 local time. It was a regular operated route connecting India with the UK. The plane, a Boeing 787 Dreamliner registered VTANB, was among the newer and more fuel efficient aircraft in the fleet. The weather was clear, the runway was dry and all pre-flight checks were completed. At approximately 1.38 pm, the aircraft was cleared for takeoff. On board were 230 passengers and 12 crew members, totaling 242 individuals. Passengers included tourists, students returning from summer vacation, business travelers and families. Among them, a prominent Gujarat political figure, a family returning from a wedding, and two British nationals seated side by side in row 11. Within seconds of lifting off the ground, the aircraft reached only 625 feet in altitude, far below the normal climb profile. Suddenly, it began to lose altitude. Air traffic control received a distress call. No trust, not taking lift, and then nothing. Just 34 seconds after takeoff, flight AI-171 plunged into the rear sight of BJ Medical College Hostel building. The explosion was immediate and devastating. A fireball rose into the sky, visible kilometers away. The impact demolished a portion of the building, injured students on the ground and ignited multiple fires. The fuselage disintegrated on impact, some sections of the tail and engine were embedded into concrete. Nearby residents and onlookers described the sound as a massive thunderclap, followed by chaos. Emergency services were alerted immediately, but for most of those on board, it was already too late. 241 of the 242 people on board died in the crash. Additionally, 19 people on the ground, including students and staff, were killed by impact or subsequent fire. This brought the total fatality count to 260. But astonishingly, a man survived. Vishwash Ramesh, a 27-year-old IT consultant from London, seated in 11A, was thrown clear of the wreckage as the aircraft split apart. He was found conscious but severely injured, lying amidst debris and smoke. He had been traveling with his brother seated beside him. His brother did not survive though. Ramesh's survival is being called a miracle. Medical professionals say the angle of impact, the seat position and the rapid emergency response contributed to saving his life. His testimony now forms a critical part of the investigation. The Boeing 7878 Dreamliner is considered one of the safest and the most advanced commercial aircraft. With twin GE GENX engines, advanced flight control systems, and an optimized structure, it's built to handle complex situations. The aircraft involved in the crash was 12 years old, and its last comprehensive maintenance check, or also known as the C check, was conducted in mid 2023. One engine had been replaced only a few months before the crash. And what baffled investigators and aviation analysts was this. Both engines failed simultaneously. A dual engine failure is extraordinarily rare, especially at such a low altitude. In a twin engine aircraft, the probability of both engines failing at once, without external interference, is almost negligible. In response to this anomaly, the emergency ram air turbine deployed supplying basic electrical and hydraulic power. But without engine thrust, altitude or time, the aircraft had no chance. More than 300 emergency personnel, including fire brigades, paramedics and the National Disaster Response Force rushed to the scene. Roads were shut down. Hospitals across Ahmedabad went on emergency alert. The site was declared a disaster zone. Recovery teams worked tirelessly for days to retrieve bodies, many of which were unidentifiable. DNA testing was employed to confirm identities. A makeshift morgue was established at the hospital. Prime Minister Narendra Modi issued a public statement mourning the victims and declared a national day of mourning. The entire nation watched 
in shock. India's Aircraft Accident Aviation Bureau, also known as the AAIB, launched an immediate inquiry supported by the UK's AAIB and the US National Transportation Safety Board, also known as the NTSB. Investigators analyzed flight data, fuel samples, maintenance logs and pilot histories. The full final report is expected within 90 days. This accident comes as Boeing's already under scrutiny after the 737 MAX disasters and the repeated manufacturing issues. Questions are being raised about quality assurance. Though the 787 has had a solid safety record, it has not been without its issues. Battery fires, electrical faults and software bugs. Air India grounded all 33 of its Dreamliners for emergency checks. Boeing responded by dispatching engineers to assist. GE also launched an internal review of the GE NX engine's logs supplied to Air India. The crash sent shockwaves through the aviation world. Passengers around the world cancelled flights. Aviation stocks fell. Indian regulators began tightening fuel quality inspections, aircraft software audits and pilot training reviews. The families of the victims are demanding accountability. Class action lawsuits have already begun, forming in London and New Delhi. Funerals were held across the country. Some families buried multiple members together. In Gujarat, a memorial is being built near the crash site. A special government trust fund has been launched to provide for dependents of the victims. But as the nation mourns, one question remains. How did one of the most advanced planes in the sky, on a clear day, on a routine flight, end in fire and devastation? Air India Flight 171 should never have crashed. And yet, it did. The truth may lie in data or in something more sinister. Until the final report is released, families wait in anguish and the world watches. Because this isn't just about one crash, it's about trust in machines, in companies and in the systems meant to protect us. If you found this video useful, please do consider subscribing and leaving a thumbs up as this helps us a lot. Thank you very much and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.